If follow through were about motivation, New Year's resolutions would work, but they don't. And it's not because you lack discipline. It's because discipline is not a personality trait. It's a brain state. This video is brought to you by my HarperCollins published book, Mind Over Explicit Matter. If you're ready to quit porn and reclaim your life mentally and physically, go over to drtrishlee.com backslash book. I'm Dr. Trish Lee, cognitive neuroscientist, and today I'm going to show you why your brain stalls on things that you deeply care about, why effort suddenly feels heavy, and how one specific brain region decides whether you act or you're idle. This isn't about trying harder. It's about how your brain allocates effort. Willpower isn't failing you. Your brain's effort engine went offline. Let's dive in and start with the hijack. Okay, now, if you remember, back in the day, there was a store called Successories at the mall. They sold these posters. There was one like this that says, Discipline, powering through when the going gets tough. Now, today, we're going to talk about that discipline isn't about powering through. It's actually a state that you can create within your nervous system. Then there's no powering through. But it's not about motivation. It's about brain function. Discipline is doing what you decided matters, even when you don't feel like it. So from a neuroscience perspective, it's about your brain's capacity to consistently activate effort, inhibit distractions, and persist over time in service of a future outcome. Discipline is not a character trait. It's a regulated brain state. And follow through is important if you, my friend, are going to accomplish your New Year's resolutions. The real issue isn't discipline. It's your brain. So this poster, we're going to upgrade it in just a bit at the end of this slideshow. Maybe, who knows, maybe I'll be working at Successories someday. Okay, so let us move on. Let's talk about the miswire. So whether you know it or not, the algorithm is miswiring your brain. The first is the hijack. Now, what the hijack is, is that your brain becomes accustomed to very high levels of dopamine. So in the first image, you see that we have a dopamine spike. When the dopamine spikes, it's actually hijacking something that's called effort allocation. And we see effort valuation on the second graph in this slide. So the algorithm is removing all friction when it comes to effort. You hit a button, what I always call the easy button, and without any effort, you get a flood of dopamine in your system. Now over on here on the right hand side by my name, you will clearly see the red X for explicit matter. What this means is that the reward arrives instantly. There's no effort and there's no persistence necessary. So effectively, your brain is being taught that effort is inefficient. So of course, we're going to dive into dopamine dependency. We're already looking at it here. We also have to consider the the reinforcement loops through going back to the screen and through your behaviors, namely consuming explicit matter, coupling it with self-soothing or masturbation, which of course leads to a sexual arousal dysfunction, SAD, namely ED. That becomes the biggest feedback loop that you are living within. It's called a negative feedback loop. In plain English, it's a downward spiral. So what that downward spiral leads to is this feeling. Attention is weak. It's heavy. Effort is so heavy. Starting feels so much more difficult than finishing. You procrastinate even though you care about the thing that you say you're going to do. You feel mentally exhausted before you even begin to try. That's what effort valuation is, and it's offline. Your initiation stalls. You can't do it. Persistence collapses. There's no perseverance. This isn't a character flaw. It is an effort allocation issue in the brain. This is a neurological function 
issue. That's what I want you to know. Now, Andrew Huberman, which many people know, he's a very popular neuroscience whom I adore. If I'm going to fangirl over anybody, it's probably going to be Andrew Huberman. There's a few people whose it's their brains I fangirl over. So Andrew Huberman is the epitome of knowing what to do. And he explains that to people. He's taught millions about dopamine and about discipline. And his information is precise and it is excellent. But there are still many millions of people who cannot follow through. Why? Why would that be? If you know what to do, then why can't you do it? That hijack is miswiring your brain. We know scientifically that insights, learning something, activates the prefrontal cortex, not the effort engine in the brain. So this is not a knowledge gap. This is a brain regulation gap. Your brain has been miswired by the algorithm. So here's what we see is that when you go back to the screen, and especially if it's explicit matter, an area in the brain called the ACC, the anterior cingulate cortex, or sometimes called the anterior cingulate gyrus, it becomes underactive due to overstimulation. Now, many people don't understand this. If you overstimulate it, then it becomes underactive, not overactive. So this is what lowers baseline dopamine tone. And we talked about it in the last briefing, the last slideshow last weekend, when we talked about what's happening in the brain with dopamine dependency and desensitization. So basically this effort engine under signals now during initiation because it's been flooded by dopamine and the effort to start neurologically doesn't feel like it's worth it. We know that this has been validated by many studies, but this core study right here is an awesome example. And it says that the ACC, the effort engine in the brain, evaluates whether effort is worth deploying based on the reward. It's basing it against the cost. This is your standard cost-benefit analysis. So the cost is too big for the reward because your brain's used to getting instant reward. So when the reward exceeds the cost, then the effort engine activates and it will sustain the action to follow through. When the effort costs dominate, then you have, which this happens from overstimulation. That's the main point that I want to point out here with the miswiring, when this happens, the effort cost dominates, then this control is in fact down regulated, meaning that it leads to stalled initiation and reduced pers perseverance and persistence. Long story short, if your brain goes back to the screen, especially explicit matter, and you're getting a flood of dopamine there, then now it's time to go to work and do all those wonderful things at work that would have been associated with dopamine, your brain goes, no way, I gotta work for the dopamine? Or even in a sexual experience with your partner, your brain goes, hmm, building true intimacy and being vulnerable with my partner, that's a no, that's a lot of effort compared to, I can just go back to the screen, I don't have to deal with anybody, and I instantly get that flood of dopamine. This is a dysregulation issue. We see this, I see this, every single week in people's brain maps. This is what the miswiring looks like. Under-engaged effort networks. I can see it in a person's brain. This is theta, the slow speed in the brain. I also see it in alpha, the idling speed in the brain, which I showed you on last week's briefing, last week's slideshow. So we see that the effort network is dysfunctional. It is not functioning like it should. A healthy brain is green. It's in the green zone. When we see red, that is too much slow speed, too much idling, too much not going or breaking in the brain. If your brain has the brakes on, your effort engine is offline. That is what we are talking about. So here's a quote for you. Follow through idols due to brain effort engine failure. If your get up and go got up and went, you're dealing with effort engine failure. But the beauty of the brain is that it has something that's called neuroplasticity. It's the brain's ability to learn. 
it will learn in the direction that you push it. So when we push it in the direction of your goals in the real world, then that dysregulation can regulate. And this is an image that I've created, but I'm gonna show you a real person's brain in just one second. When stimulation is reduced, the brain can rewire toward regulation, clarity, and control. And when it does it, guess what happens? Your effort comes back online. Your ability to persist, even in the face of challenge, happens again. You remember what your goals are because your brain's not flooded with dopamine, and now you can go after them. Your ACC can be retrained so that effort becomes effortless again. The brain is plastic. That's how you can do it. So, this is how I do it with people. I work with people all over the world. I retrain their effort valuation using very easy at-home technology that's a wearable. You wear it on your head, you can use my app, and then we re-engage the ACC by restoring effort before reward. But first, I help people regulate their brains. This isn't mindset that I'm talking about here. What this is, is circuitry upgrade. We're teaching the circuits in your brain to perform better again, or maybe to perform well for the first time ever. So we can use technology. The neuromodulation program that I offer, it trains brain state, not beliefs. The brain gets real time feedback on its ability to regulate. And that is incredibly powerful. Now, when I work with clients, this is what I see. Now, this blue line is alpha. Alpha is that idling speed in the brain. It is too high. When, when this person starts off, at, it's up at 2.91. We want it around one, um, 1 1.2. You can see it come down, 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 down. This is the ACC and the prefrontal cortex stabilizing again. It is retraining the brain using technology. Regulation precedes the consistency that discipline requires. So here we can see across sessions, this is from May until January, effort tolerance improves, which means effort becomes easier. Initiation becomes easier persistence increases, discipline stops feeling forced when the brain's effort engine is fired back up. So if you want to use technology, I'm your girl to help you. But in the meantime, let's talk about your brain hack strategy for the day. It's a follow through reset. Reward comes only after completion. One effortful task per day. Do something that requires effort no stimulation beforehand because we want your ACC and your PFC, the prefrontal cortex, we want them working in concert, knowing and doing, right? Complete it fully. Then give yourself a reward. Reward comes only after completion. Pick one thing, not a million, and go after it today. This retrains the effort engine, that ACC in your brain, to value effort again. Okay, so let me show you. In summary, effort engine failure is making it so that it's difficult for you to start tasks, especially when we're talking about your New Year's goals, and especially when we're talking about leaving explicit matter behind and stepping away from compulsive masturbation so that you can have healthy intimacy in the real world. Of course, it includes all the other goals, but if you're caught in that loop, Remember, we're talking dopamine dependency and reinforcement loops. We need to break free. Your sleep will be better. Your nervous system will be regulated. Your brain will come back online. Discipline will emerge. That's what regulation is here in the middle. Then healthy effort valuation. Your real life goals will come back online. School will be easier. You'll be able to study and go accomplish all your dreams. If you are moving towards you know, you want to buy a home or you want to move out, then those goals can be accomplished. If you're stuck in a place that you don't think you can do these things, your effort engine is failing. Just like we see here of Andrew Huberman lately, this is him hiking with a buddy of his, with one of his besties. He knows the knowledge. He talks the talk, but he also walks the walk. I walk the walk. I've been 
working out like it's nobody's business. I've been weighing my food like Declan wanted me to. It takes effort, but the effort becomes worth it. The consistency shows up. Okay, so here, here's my upgrade to the successories poster. Discipline, a state, not a trait. If you are looking for help in this journey, please reach out to me. This is my website, drtrishlee.com. You can schedule an appointment where you talk with me and we have private time together. And at the same time, then we can make a plan. You can use technology to regulate your brain by doing what's called a brain map. That brain map shows you if your ACC is offline, if your prefrontal cortex is stalled, I can see it and then I can help you by setting the protocols to train your brain. So reach out. I want you to have the year that you want and deserve this year. And it starts with regulating your brain. It's a state, not a trait. All right, remember, control your brain or it'll control you. I'll see you next time.